Welcome to Ethan Hahn Plus, the podcast where dreams take center stage. On this show, we're all about spotlighting the incredible talents and passions of everyday people. Whether you're an aspiring artist, a person of faith, or simply someone with a story to tell, this podcast is your platform. So sit back, relax, and get ready to meet some extraordinary individuals. Because here at Ethan Hahn Plus, everyone has a chance to shine. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Ethan Hahn Plus, the podcast where you, you you listen to this show everywhere in the world. You listen in China, you listen in Scotland, you listen in Ireland, you listen in Greenland, Iceland, Hawaii, Wisconsin, Maine, Rhode Island. We get listened to everywhere is what happens in my dreams. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> People listen to this while they are painting art. You know why? Because when they listen to this podcast, they're motivated. They're inspired. Wow, Ethan brings so many influential people on. I want to create the Mona Lisa. Ethan brings on so many people of faith. I want to know Jesus. Wow. So people. Ethan brings in people who are so funny. I want to be a stand-up comedian. I might do stand-up one day. That'll be funny. I want to do stand-up one day. I think I'm going to do that. Everyone, we have a great episode for you today and it's something we just kind of put on in on the whim because we 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 were at ramsey farms right next to me let's just get right off the bat here is my lovely girlfriend you you all know her from the past 100 episodes period please welcome jazzy yes i'm jazzy today you're jazzy today please welcome jazzy adillion on the show yeah, I got to go by my many alter egos. Yes. yes. We just came back from Ramsey Farms. We did. It was a WOMU event. Um, yeah. This is a PSA to check your emails because then you miss out on these things if you don't check your emails. Yeah, it was a, it was a heck of a deal. Yeah, uh, 10 bucks for all that? 10 that bucks. Bad at all. 10 bucks to eat some some wieners, <laughs> some dry bread, and some s'mores. And to compare stem sizes, yeah. Okay, okay, we're going to get right into that in a second. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Me, but me and her, we didn't go alone. We did not just go as a couple we went as uh, a, a a two couple <laughs> i don't even yes, we went yeah we went on a double date today. a double we went on a double date i'm trying to i'm trying to yes, boost this up yes. everyone uh, sitting across from us is our double day tees of the day everyone please welcome samantha pierce oh and we'll, we'll do this. She's oh, a married Sa- name. samantha pierce oh okay right. okay okay welcome on the show how are you hello hello i'm good how are you i'm doing good she's wearing an ethan hunt productions blanket I don't know where the it's, is. it's 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 um, it's, it's, all, it's, it's somewhere. vintage it's, it's okay antique. it's vintage it's OG yes. Shit. but yes she's here and right next to her her husband wow. welcome khalil pierce Hey, happy to be here. Wow. If you guys haven't heard of this podcast, you must be living under a rock. Boom. <laughs> exactly. Wow. We need to hire him for marketing. <laughs> I think we just found our new spokesman. Yeah, we did. Wow. What are you guys doing, man? Check us out and check out the SWAT series. Hey, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> hey, we're great. Came you guys back are great. from Ramsey Farms. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to start talking about that. Yeah. Uh- <laughs> Again, I want to say, we, we just came back from Ramsey Farms, and as soon as we got home, the conversation just kind of like, I mean, it was just like, hey, podcast? Yeah. Podcast. Question mark? And we were and, sure. um Because we were just going to kind of chill, but you guys sat on the couch, and we were just kind of vibing, and it seemed like, why not? We're, we got a free Saturday. We're just a couple of y- a young folk yeah. here to hang out. I'm young still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're so. the oldest in this room. Wise. Wisdom. Actually, I think I'm you're, the the, you're the only one in this room born before 2000. <laughs> Mm. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> that's a deep cut. 1997. We're all Gen Ooh, Z. 97. We're all Gen Z, though. We're all Gen Ooh. Z. So that's the best part here. But uh, yes, yeah, so again, we have Khalil and Sam here. And again, we did a double day today at Ramsey Farms. How do we know Sam and Khalil here? Break it down for us. Or uh. Break it down for the audience. Who are... Actually, no, wait. Actually, I lo- no, I love they, this. let them explain how they know us. What's a, what's a bio you guys would give about each other? There about we go. Him? How about this? I like that. Okay. Give a bio about Khalil and you give a bio about Sam. Right, you go, go first. Ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> a you. bio, okay. Well, tell us a little bit about Sam. Yeah. All right, yeah. So, first job Chick fil A. Mm. <laughs> Born customer service. Uh, let's see. Beautiful, kind, my uh, strong, wife. independent woman. <laughs> I wouldn't put that. The love of my life. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would have no, used different words. No, you wouldn't put it that way. Okay. Yeah, some, something okay. else. Um, mm. you're cool. Mm. Um, nice to look at. Oh. Slay. <laughs> Soft hair. <you> know. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
No, yep, love of my life, married. Oh. Um, you seem a little nervous. You're shaking your knee. For all the um, audio listeners, he's at okay. gunpoint. <laughs> I, know, I know. I actually uh, have one. Right soft under. hair. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know. That's funny. Um, but yeah, really funny, really smart. Mm. Um, pretty much do anything. You're going to make my eye twitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when she's putting something together, she never follows the instructions. She just goes with the flow. Oh, um, we love that. Yeah. I half can the do time, everything yeah. myself. Half time does it wrong, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's where my independence comes in. <laughs> mm, mm. But then when I'm around, I have to do everything. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Love I it. Love All right. What, what's your two cents about your husband? He pays the bills. Mm. Pay the bill. It's like I'm She's like that's it. She's like that. Move that's on. It. He's that's good all. for. He's good for the money. No. <laughs> I'm gonna follow up with first job Chick Fil A. Oh, <laughs> that's geez. where we met. Yeah, as you guys know. Mm. But yeah, Chick Fil A. He was in love with me. Mm. I wasn't feeling him at all. Typical. And mm. no, I was. Just kidding. <laughs> I remember um, the day. The d- <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel like there's some missing context there. But, uh, oh, gosh. The Put day. the pieces together. Yeah, no. That's how we met. We met at Chick-fil-A. I'm supposed to be giving like a bio of like who he is as a person. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just fun facts about him. He gave us some... So- he said, you have soft hair. I did. So, how's his hair? <laughs> his hair is very soft. Mm. <laughs> very soft. <laughs> okay. Curly. Okay. Great. Right? He's a gentleman. He opens the car door for me. So what's, we what, love what, that. What's a real fun fact about Khalil? Like something that the... he was born in Japan. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew That's that. That's a fun fact. That's... He doesn't tell anybody told... that. I okay. tell everybody that. Do you know a little Japanese? I don't. Oh, unfortunately, I was only there for it. a year. You okay. should have just faked it. What well, if, if it's okay for me to ask? How did? Uh, why were you in Japan? Why was your family there? Your parents were in the military. Oh, yeah. very yeah. cool. So how long were you there for when you were born? Everybody? Only only a year. Only a year. Yes, I remember. Nothing. I was going to ask him, like, if he remembers anything. Nope. Konnichiwa. Cool. <laughs> is that Japanese? Konnichiwa? I think. Sorry. Someone fact check us in the bottom. Yeah, whoever's yeah. Japanese. <laughs> whoever's Japanese. Someone's like, no, we're the <laughs> wrong Asian country, buddy. Love that. You guys met at Chick-fil-A. I'm curious. Okay. Like, you guys met at Chick-fil-A. Um, was there just a bonding at the drive-thru? Like, how does... Uh... You know. I like, was like, a freak. They were homeschooled. What do you mean? I was a freak. freak. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I really... I tell everyone I don't know why he liked me. Mm. I literally ran up to him and, like, jumped in front of him and was like, are you homeschooled? Why are you here? It's, it's like, daytime. You look like you should be in school. <laughs> oh. I do vaguely remember that. It was, oh. it was quite awkward. You saw him in the morning on a weekday. And you're yes. like, oh, wow. I was like, uh, you should be in school. You're young. Yeah. So I just jumped in front of him. I was like, are you homeschooled? And then we fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it's two homeschoolers that work at Chick-fil-A that just had a lot of free time. <laughs> it's every Christian love story. I do, I do want to note it was not that easy. <laughs> I also want to note that a lot of Chick-fil-A couples are not that great, but we yeah. are. So You guys are the superior Chick-fil-A um, couple. Mm-hmm. So yeah. just a little background on our love story. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so I... <laughs> At Chick Fil A, so I immediately was like all over her, mm. given all the signs and everything. It's mm. this little nerdy fifteen-year-old, yeah, you know, fighting my hardest not to be nervous and scared. Yeah, yeah. And she, you know, gave the same energy <laughs> on Monday, and then Tuesday rolled around, and it was, "Hey, buddy, <laughs> what's going on?" Oh, wait, wait, like as in, like, what are we doing? No, and like yes, hey, exactly like like hey, part. friend. No. Oh, she was letting your hand. Oh, she was letting no. you know, like no, we're not. No, yeah, that's, I that's... was doing that first part. What you just said, and he he took it as. I don't know, oh, so so that. hang on, because you were so you were trying to like be playful. And, like, I was trying to be like, hey, but like, maybe you were a little too playful, as in he's taking it as I'm in the friend zone. Yes, exactly. Oh, so she would. She was good. It's exactly. like let me. She was like fishing, right? Cool. She got me. <laughs> And then she like throws me back in the water. That is oh. <laughs> and that's what it was throughout the whole week. Oh. Wow. I was 15. Wow. <laughs> Let's just emphasize on that. I was 15. A lot of learning. A lot of 15. learning yeah. to be done there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot. Yeah, it's so. interesting. You guys, you guys, you guys have already told each other those perspectives, though. I'm sure, right? Is this the first yeah. time? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> We've talked about all it's the like things. A, I thought you friend zoned me and stuff like that. How long do you guys work at Chick Fil A together? Well, was it long? Or just... He stayed for three years. I dipped after a year. Really? I felt like it was longer year? than that. Two years? 
I think we only been to one of the Christmas parties. That's how I remember. Mm. Maybe like a year or so. So how long were you there before until she showed up? I was there, I was there first. Oh, you she were there was, first. I was there first. She was there and then first. Oh, and then you showed up. And then I came in and was there for three years. He's like, God answered my prayers. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Amen. And then so, so just to fast forward, you meet at Chick-fil-A and then how long until you guys started uh, dating? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's a wonderful question. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things so where there was it a- was like they met like had like a had feelings and then grew up and then rekindled after oh rekindled right right, right. okay but we talked and stayed friends like in that time time, except for those little gray areas except for the gray areas sure fine we all all got gray areas for sure that's fine i think so he had a lot (laughs) (laughs) you're saying that because i'm black (laughs) (laughs) oh put this out there we go yeah i want to make a reel out of this that's good Love it, love it. Can he say that? I don't know. It's fine. As, if, as long as he's comfortable with it, we're all comfortable with it. <laughs> love it. So again, so we we really made the connection here because you and Sam are bestie besties. We are we're besties. Bestie yes, he is my bestie. Yeah. What, what's the what's the background here? Oh, Where did you guys Lord. meet? Was we, it Chick Fil A? No, who, we met at who church. Who friend zoned who? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we met at church. It was at youth group. We were like what? Mm. 13 i think like 13 13 13, yeah 14 yeah i think so yeah we met like a a, (laughs) in a lock-in so it's always a church sleepover where i mean i've never been to one i want to do a lock-in somewhere yeah yeah let's do a lock-in in in the studio wow that's just a sleepover that's that's literally just a sleepover it sounds cooler lock the doors upstairs (laughs) you guys can't leave no yeah we no one leaves the basement (laughs) 24 hour challenge you know (laughs) exactly (laughs) hide hide in the basement but yeah no we were the same age and we were both bubbly and we were like you know what we're friends yeah and I was also mm. one of the only people that her mom approved of. So uh, um, I was always over. <laughs> and again, Calvary, you said the school? I or? pulled her into the volleyball team. Pulled her into the volleyball yeah, team. Yeah, I did. I see. And yeah. that's how she got connected to the Calvary kids. To everybody at Calvary. Yeah. Oh, everybody. Shout I see. out. So you were the Gilbert to her Ethan. Yes. Okay. I was. So that's how it goes. It just yeah. takes one, one. You plant one seed in someone. A, a faith seed. A seed of faith. And then thus they meet. They meet the Lord and all his gifts and fruits. Yes. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. Okay. But yeah, you guys uh, yeah, are good friends. Yeah, and then, are. yeah, you just kind of, you guys been uh, hanging out a lot. You guys do hot girl walks in the morning. Yes, we they do. They call yes. it that. I'm not being a yeah, weirdo. No, we do. Yeah. Hot girl walks. <laughs> you clearly like, hot girl walks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, they, they call it that. They no, call it we, that. No, we get up at six o'clock in the morning, twice mm. a week. Oh, it's so bad. It's so fun. It's so good. Yes, it's, it's so, so good. Therapeutic. But waking up is so bad. It is. Mm. But mm. once we're there. We're there. It feels good. Yeah, we yes. walk two miles at a park. Mm. and we just location talk. not disclosed i know because mm-hmm. we can't have people <laughs> following us yeah but yeah we just it's a therapy talk it's fun yeah it's um exercise and yapping at little the tea same talk time. vent yes. stuff yes. like that like you know what ethan did to me today you know what khalil did to me today <laughs> you bums you guys are the main topic of all of our conversations <laughs> yeah that's fine you know we'll go on, we'll so go so on so runs how about you guys that yeah. go on hot like boy that. Rock. we'll go walk. on runs hot boy walk hot boy runs hot oh wow hot yeah hot men run wow Oh, men. Yep. Wow. Oh, men He's married and I'm old. So <laughs> we're men. <laughs> Love it. Uh yeah, you guys do your walks and that's great. It's good, it's good waking up in the morning, you know, getting exercise. Um try a run one time. Mm-mm. Try to no, try to e- jog it no, out. And Ethan run is a crazy, crazy experience. No, it's, 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 it's a good nine minute thirty pace. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's a, a sprint. You, or a nine run. minute miles. A jog. A jog. I do a jog. You do a whole mile in nine minutes jogging? Yeah. Ooh. Hold on. Yeah. You can do a mile in nine minutes. No, you're yes. crazy. Wait, my fastest that's time. That's crazy. Hang on. Wait, what? I'm not crazy. trying to. Uh, I'm trying. It's not because no, my wh- fastest time, uh, humble brag, uh, in cross country in high school was 5:45. You did a in a, a mile. mile? Yes, in five a mile. Minutes? Yes. That's, cr- it, that's not. It's jogging not that even. crazy. Nine minutes that's and thirty seconds racing. is light. Nine minutes is light work. No, he's no, saying, no, he's saying in high school when he did cross country and when he was like had his. That's peak, when I was peak. at my peak. We shape. need to step up our hawker walks because we'll be there for an I hour. I want you to know five. <laughs> Five, no, we we do forty minutes. Five for two minutes miles. and forty five seconds is hard. No, yeah. that's hard. Nine thirty though, you're able to do that. I, I want to note mm. that this guy can't pronounce the world record for a guy running a mile is three minutes. Oh, that's insane. That's wild. That's so insane. nine minutes. You're only two. He said he did it in five minutes and what? Forty five seconds. So but, I wa- but I want you to know in running, like when it comes to running, seconds is like it's not like that big a deal. 
Like, still, I mean, no, I mean, it is a big deal. I don't know how to describe it, but like, just the fact that I'm two minutes away from that guy, that's still a huge jump. It's a huge jump. It is. It that's really still is. Crazy. Like, 545 to a 535 is massive. Like, you For wouldn't sure. even know it. Yeah. Wow. Like, that's a bit. That's that would take months of training to even get down 10 seconds like that. Someone's listening, like, no, it's not. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> Race me right now. What a, what a, what a dummy. I'm yeah, going to pull yeah. up right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And we kind of got our cardio going on today at Ramsey Farms. The four of us went to Ramsey Farms. I realized when we pulled up, I've actually been there before. So it actually wasn't my first time. So but I don't remember anything about it. I think I went when I was like in high school. So I don't really remember much. Yeah, but no, it was a cute spot. how did everybody like Ramsey, Ramsey Farms? Ramsey, Razzy, Ra- Ramsey Farms. Um, only downfall was the bees. There were too many bees. Oh my gosh, there were so many bees. A lot of bees. And, but they weren't the ones that sting, right? I don't know. I don't they would, know. We they weren't like... going to get the chance with me. <laughs> <laughs> I was running. I noticed. I mean, we, we talked about this. Me yeah. and Sam are probably in this room, two people that hate bugs the most. Yes. And they were around us, I feel like, the they most. They were not getting yeah, no. you guys Well, all. the thing is, I typically am not a bug person either, but I have to grow balls because someone else won't. Mm. Yeah. No, I'm a coward. Yeah. I don't think I've talked about this on the podcast. Yeah, but go ahead. For talk, people talk who don't know. Talk about your avid fear of bugs. Well, no, I, I have a... Well, I, most people know I have a bad fear of bugs, but yeah, like when we do eventually live together in the future, you're going to have to... Kill the bugs. Kill the bugs. Unless we have kids that are not scared of bugs and they can do it for you. Who knows? Maybe it's genetic. Oh, I bet. <laughs> no. Genetic is great. No, you... <laughs> it's awful. If you're a bug. So yeah, so I have to toughen up and be the bug killer. Yeah, because... And I, I, I what I tell people is when I see a bug here in the house, in the studio, or in my room, I get my parents. Because I can't do it. I will. I will. I will. I'd you rather. Are, I'd rather let are, the bug you are go somewhere. Years I'm like, okay, day. do your thing. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I tell people, my dad will call me several names to like, you're a baby. Blah 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 blah. He'll go through all the vocabulary. I'm like, I don't care how many names you call me. I'm not killing the bug. I'm not killing that spider. I'm not killing that roach. That's scary. So you're gonna have to handle that. Yay. Yeah. But you guys handle that at your house and like that. Um, like bug situation, you you always if, have to kill for her. I will handle the bugs. Yeah, yeah. Um, it there, is the opposite it. of you two. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I handle all the bugs. It's actually the right way it should be. <laughs> See, that's arguably. actually how it should be. Yeah. That's yes. actually how it should be. The man yes. killing the bugs, but arguably, maybe that's why we should get a dog. Because mm. the dog will be. Like, mm. Eat it. Actually, more like a cat. I feel like cats do most of the dirty work with. Cats will play. Do with not it. get a cat. A cat cats will play, play with it. it. No cat. <laughs> Smack no it around. Cat. Smack it around. Maybe yeah. <laughs> Kill it in the process. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. But Ramsey Farms was fun. Um, we did the hay ride. Cool time. We saw a tour. We looked at pumpkins. We have some photos. I'll put them up on post. But uh, we we took a photo with the corn stalk. We did. There we go. We'll and put the it up there. Yeah, and, and the, the pumpkins. <laughs> Where we were comparing stems. No, because the apparently. way that y'all were holding it, like the stems were sticking. Everyone out, look at this photo. And there, and like they were definitely <laughs> two differently listeners. sized stems. Yeah. And we were looking at it, and we we're like, huh, they're comparing stems. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why did this all have to become so weird? And then I was, I was like, oh, let's put it next to your stomach. Because it looks like um. This is actually an announcement for everybody. This is an announcement. Yeah. We're pregnant. <laughs> yep. I'm pregnant. Yeah. Just Congratulations, mm-hmm. Ethan. We're so proud. So of you. excited. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not fat. <laughs> Sorry. It's a baby. I'm pregnant. Get I'm pregnant. Out. Exactly. But yeah, and then we did the we did about uh, thirty seconds of a corn maze. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Because I, I felt the vibe. I don't know. I was like, I, I, I feel like we're not we're not down for this maze, are we? <laughs> what are you talking about? We just did it really fast. And I just kept hearing Khalil <laughs> saying, "Guys, we're going back to the entrance." And all, all three of us were just fully aware. Like, I think we're over it. No, the yeah. whole thing was very peak, sure. like. You know, like boys are boys and then girls are girls because you guys were actually trying. Yeah. And then me and Sam were like, la la la. I was ready to go back to the bridge. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That that corn maze though was kind of boring in my opinion. I think Ramsey Farms kind of go goes a bit down on the farm charts. But it's still a nice place. It's nice. It was pretty. But um, Pfeiffer Farms in Milburn have like games to play and little basketball things and uh, even the I mean the the most enticing thing was the story about Jack and the corn corn kernels. Yeah. Um, Beanstalk. (laughs) Beanstalk. But it was he had it was corn it was kernels. Corn kernels it was corn kernels. It was corn kernels. Instead of beans. You guys were too busy yapping. Yeah, his mom was pissed at him. Threw <laughs> yeah, him out the window. She, she was angry. She's like, "We needed this for the cow." She <laughs> threw him out a window. No. <laughs> Wait, what did she, she threw say? The, she threw the corn kernels out the window, oh and then she God. sent she, her son yeah. to bed with no food. She oh. was upset. She was upset. Yeah. So again, it's just a story they have to follow at the uh, Ramsey Farm maze. Yeah, Fine. so good times there. But yeah, we there was a, it's a Wilm U event. You went there. Yeah, I went there. Did you go there? I went to Del Tech. So. I went there. Oh, okay. Did everyone here graduate Will college? Shut up. Is I was this... so thankful to be there. <laughs> 
my fellow Wilmu brethren, Wilmu Cougars. <laughs> Let's go, Cameron They're Cougar. They're Wildcats. It's the oh. Wilmu Wildcats. Go Cats. Edit yeah. that out. Not the Cougars. Let's go, William Wildcat. Let's no, go. I don't even actually. Let me look up the name of the. Yeah, Black what's Panthers? the name of the mascot? The Black Panther, mm, Yellow Panthers. Mm. Oh, that's a good name for our Asian friend group, the Yellow, Yellow Panthers. Panthers. <laughs> that's no, good. No, I've been trying to think. If anyone has any suggestions, I've been trying to think for people who know our, our friend group. I've been trying to think of a a group name for our friend group because I've had two it's friend a, groups it's in the a past. Wiley D Wildcat. Wiley D, what's the D stand for? I don't know. Wild- I don't think you want to know. <laughs> <laughs> wild, Wiley mm-hmm. D, Wildcat. Wiley D, Wild, Wiley D. Um, but yeah, we're trying to think of a friend group name for our group, but that's a tangent. Well, um, luckily this time we actually had a successful double date because every time we try, someone gets sick. Oh, that's a great thing to bring yes. up. We okay. have been battling for months <laughs> on the four of us getting together. Yes. Because me and Khalil keep getting sick whenever something's supposed to come yes. around. Our men are allergic to each other. Yeah. Fully allergic to each other. Because I mean, again, did we establish? Was it him two times and me one time? Yes. Or was it... it was him two times and you one time. So technically, yeah, this yeah. time should have been your turn. To cancel. It should have so been. We're so through. proud. So proud I, I broke the curse. I broke the curse. <laughs> Khalil okay, gets sick happens. the first time, but life happens. We're like, blah, 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 blah. And then, I'll be honest, we were actually really close to doing the second one. And I remember I like we contacted you guys. I was like, well, I'm sick. Well, no, I feel like I was feeling sick. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. But I was like, maybe I can pull it together for this hangout. Mm-hmm. And of course, we wanted to let you guys know. And it ultimately came to the smart decision that don't. Because I had, we didn't even establish what it was. don't even what know what was. that was. I just had something going on, and they just the doctor gave me random pills. And now I'm ba- I mean, it was Molly. I don't know. No, oh. it was so, not. Man. No, what doctor? What die? No, it was like under. <laughs> it was in a sewer. I don't know. He was like, "Come here, kid." I was like, oh. "But um, no, it was an actual doctor." <laughs> but yeah, and then so yeah, we we get close to that, and I was just like, "Well, I don't want to get them sick. Let's move on." Next thing comes around, and then we get the dreaded guys dot 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 or something like that. You said. <laughs> And I was like, oh, what's this about to be? And Khalil said his, his throat was sore. Yes. I was like, oh. Sick baby. We still hung out that one time that we all four had to cancel. Yeah, that's we right. We still hung out. Yes. Usually we do hang out whenever they cancel. Yes. Yeah. And it's just because, again, you're just... you guys not like each other? No. Is this something we need to unpack? No. no. I, I'll be honest. I was dreading yeah. this. Shut today. Up. I was dreading this. Yeah, force myself well, to take those pictures. Let's go. Yeah. Let's I was like, I don't want. <laughs> There's something hidden. We didn't shoot them away. They were willing to do a podcast. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, they could yes. have been like, we're going to go home. <laughs> I will, I will to confess, me and Jazzy sometimes get worried. This is for everybody listening, but we get worried that sometimes, are we annoying? <laughs> like, are we a oh weird, God, annoying no. couple? I was like, okay, thank no. goodness. People like us. Yes, thank goodness. Yes. It's, com- it's comforting. <laughs> we now, we yeah. get, we, we, because we like to be self aware sometimes. I feel like some people aren't self aware. Yeah. If you're one of those couples that are like, oh, no, people love us. Like, no, no, r- reflect. <laughs> reflect. Please. Maybe you're, maybe you're not one of those. <laughs> We're not dropping names. We're, We're not, names. but please reflect. But just reflect oh, a little she's, bit. She's you know what? And this goes a little, this goes a little deeper. <laughs> this could go a little deeper, not just couples, but person. Yeah. If you're just a human mm, being mm. and you think people love having you around. <laughs> <laughs> If you're not invited to something, maybe there's a reason. Ooh, Ooh look in the mirror. Mm. Everyone reflect. I think it's good to be self-aware. Yes. I think that's the message there. Be self-aware. Again, we all have our moments where maybe we say something and that's like, oh, did, was that off? But we we learn. We we uh, we fix and learn. We live and we learn. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Are we Make that a poster. annoying? No, you guys are not annoying. Yeah. You guys are very oh. fun to be here. No, you are. No. <laughs> you guys are arguably one of the more like chillest. Yeah, yeah, like when it comes to double dates. No, I feel like most, every no, double date we've done though. Is we're pretty... we're picky with our double dates. We Usually, are, it's picky. those two or it's Laura Gilbert. Yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't branched out for that. It's really hard yeah. to find couples that like you actually vibe with. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I, spe- yeah. I think it's only the, the thing is too. It it needs to work because you two are are good friends. Yeah. And it needs to work for me and Khalil too mm-hmm. for this to work. And luckily, we're just both chill and like we just we have pretty much around the same sense of humor. I'm probably more exuberant than him, but at the end of the day, we meet in the middle and we all have a good time. Yes. I think that's the thing is like if you have a a good friend, it's a matter of oh, are the op- are like the are our partners gonna get along? Link up because mm-hmm. that's that's a part, a big piece of it at mm-hmm. the end of the day. Yeah. But yeah. I, we all get along. Yeah, we do. Yeah. That's what's good. We all get along. <laughs> Good times. Can you believe it? We did it. Our men like each other. <laughs> Ooh, fun. Double dates forever. Yeah. Ooh, yes, but uh, yeah. 
talking about relationships, we have a game. We do. I, yeah, I don't know what the segue is there. So. Um, <laughs> well, no, since we're talking about couple things, yeah. and I would like to think, I mean, married couple, and then on the way yes, they're to... they're married couple. They're married couple. That, we're yeah. uh, on the way to be a married couple. Yeah. So, um, soon. Someone's got to hurry up. Um, mm. But, <laughs> but uh, I, fa- I went on ChatGPT, and I looked up a list of beige flags, and we're going to determine whether or not these are actually red flags or green flags mm, mm. okay okay so yeah beige flags beige we have flags. a game here so we have to rate the beige flags. so if you don't know what a beige flag is it's a f- um it's a trait that's not necessarily good but not necessarily bad it's just mm. the person's discretion if they want to say that's a good thing or a bad thing okay um for example like a mild one is like oh if the person doesn't have social media is that a good thing or a bad thing Okay. Um, okay. or right. things like that okay 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 all right, all right let's, let's let's do this join us while you're watching this okay, okay. leave a comment down below so i went on chat gpt because chat gpt has been my best friend lately mm. um and yeah so i mean it gave me some generic ones and then i asked it to make it spicier so and then i made it i asked it to make it even more spicier okay so we'll start mild and then make our way down to more this. more juicy please i see yours <laughs> yes, she's wrote, asking to, to chat gbt <laughs> more juicy please and then i did it again i said more spicy more spicy oh, and they came through and chat gbt said chat gbt said oh <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay. 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 So we'll start mild. Um. Let's see. It, so, is it a red flag or a green flag if they always agree with you? Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. You Why? should not be fully. Do you yeah. not have a brain? Like, no one yeah. shares the same brain. Opinion? Yeah. No. We there's all. No you way. need to disagree to I think have that healthy balance yes. relationship. If you're agreeing with everything, then there's something wrong with you. Then you're just trying to yes. be avoid like, a fight. I love you. Oh, yeah. You're trying to avoid a fight. Like, do you, you hate me? Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. No, it's just like that's crazy. crazy. Um, but you, there needs to be. I tell her this. Like, no relationship is gonna be perfect. You need to have like some small conflict once in a while. And when there is that conflict, communicate it to each other what the issue is and figure it out. I feel like conflict yeah. just keeps it going. You know? Yeah. Healthy he conflict keeps it going. That toxic. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, healthy conflict is a good thing to have. Yeah. 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 Don't agree, because then you're just gonna go to bed being like, mm-hmm. you're actually deep down really mad about it. But it's like, I'm just gonna say this to shut everyone up. Like, no, that's not okay. Yeah. Just make it blow up in the future. You're gonna trip over a blanket or something, and then everything's that one gonna time? spill out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, is it a red flag or a green flag if they're not very affectionate in public? Um. What is a beige flag in the middle? Yes. So this is a beige mm. flag according to Chat GBT. So for you, is this a red flag or a green flag if they're not very publicly affectionate? Like behind closed doors, it's exactly what you want, but like in public, not very affectionate with you. Depends on the reason. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like it's even intense to call it a green flag. But I've also, it shouldn't be a red flag. Maybe it's, it's a beige flag. I feel <laughs> like it's not. That's what I'm saying. Is it a beige flag? It's a legit I, beige flag. Like maybe that's. I, I feel like I would want to show affection in public, but there's people that don't want to do anything like PDA or anything and like that. And I think that. that's yeah, still it's like okay. Comfort level. Yeah. I think that's still okay because it's just a matter of figuring it out with them. Like, okay, you're not comfortable with this. Like, I mean, if we can bring this up, like today, and it's not a weird thing, we kissed for the photos, and you were you even made a comment. You're like, no, we don't do that for the photos and stuff yeah. like that. And there's nothing wrong with yeah. that. Like, maybe that's a good example of itself there of like, we don't mind, but they were like, no, we're not going to go do yeah. that so i don't know though like yeah it's yeah, a it's beige not, flag it's it's like... but like he said if it's like a reason like mm, i don't want people I don't seeing us hold my, her oh, it depends my on the friends. reason like yeah. that's a red flag right. yeah that's weird or but uh, but if they're the just the type of person to be very private being like i just feel like this should be reserved for just me and you See, I don't think I could be with somebody like that Mm-mm. because I like to like have like oh, flaunt. Oh, oh that's like the, cute. Sorry, yeah. I need the world You're to know that hand. she's mine. <laughs> period, like, exactly. Period, love. Exactly. <laughs> you knew what to yeah. say. <laughs> yeah. Like you want to? I mean, people are like, oh, I don't want to post on social media all this stuff, but I think there is a thing like, no, be proud of your relationship. Mm-hmm. Be proud of who you are, and not to say people who don't aren't proud but it's just preferences. Yeah, it's preferences. It's, preferences. it's a preference thing. That that's a good one. That, <laughs> that is a really talk that about. Is a good yeah. one. Um. Okay. Actually, no. I'm gonna do one more. Mild yeah, yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Um. We got time. Huh. That's a good one. Which you think one? that's a good one? We can, you can, Okay. Go okay. Ask that the, one. There's one here. Is uh, 
doesn't make plans for the future. So it's someone who likes to live. It's it's either like someone who lives in the moment kind of thing. Yeah. Like or afraid of commitment. Is it a green flag or a red flag if they they aren't very future like thinking? Mm. So does that mean for the relationship, or does that mean like for just for- plans? Like I'm just gonna go with the flow. We're gonna do whatever. I'll oh. text you the day of. I, I want to go to freaking Florida. Let's do it. Or, Let's go in the context of because I'll be honest. Before I read that description, yeah, I was thinking more like, um, for example, like yeah, talking about marriage in the future okay. or kids in the future. Like if someone doesn't want to talk about that specific stuff, I guess let put that context in it. Red flag is that? Yeah, Red sure. Flag. Red yeah, flag. if you're not like dating to marry, you're just dating for heartbreak. Yeah. Ooh. What's, what's Ooh. the point? Come on. I like that. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, all case right, let's, close. Let's, <laughs> yeah, no, you guys, do you guys think the same thing? Or, yeah, yeah. yeah, we no. talk about the future all the time. Yeah, we, no, I agree. We've been having sessions. Yeah, <laughs> we've been having plenty of sessions. I have, a, about have the a Google Doc ready. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, okay, so let's get into the Chat GBT's level two spicy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, mm. Spicy. Ooh, spicy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. Be- <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is going to be an easy one. Be- is it? Is it a red flag or a green flag if they still have photos of their ex on their social media? Oh, let's unpack that. <laughs> oh, let's yeah. unpack that. Oh. Let's, let's unpack Wait. that. Wait. He had pictures of his ex up there on his social media, like literally for so long. So let's remember. <laughs> so long. Wait, wait, wait. Let's 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 um Not remember like our conversation pictures. about a uh, context. <laughs> yeah, please, I think I think please. context is important too because I was gonna bring, but please, I'll let you guys please. say what you're gonna say because I have something to oh. talk. It throw wasn't in. like like them as a couple, but like oh, was it a group picture? Yes. Uh, so okay, then. that's where it becomes tricky. But also like my man, my man, my man. Why is she on your Instagram still? Well, just curious. Um, is it still up by any no. chance? Okay, okay, okay. Right. But, 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 just curious, just out of curiosity, the group photo, was it like a big event, like a special thing, or was it just a group photo as a group photo? A group, a six of us. Just a six of you. Okay, okay. So I guess, all right, yeah. That's a group because photo, where, yeah. where I was going to go with it was, I feel like, <laughs> I don't know if maybe this goes towards, uh, I feel like if there is a, if it's like a special thing, like there's a bunch of family photos on a carousel. Oh. And it's someone's like birth, like it was that person's birthday, and they have, uh, they just happen to have a couple photo in that carousel with their ex. Mm. But it's such a special thing. Mm-hmm. I'm like, it, that has. To, I mean, like, what can you do? Like, there's so many. Well, now Instagram has a feature where you can delete. You can delete it. Yeah. You can delete a car- like one of the photos. Yeah, in the yeah carousel. you can do yes. that now. Oh wow! Oh, thank I didn't God. Know that. Yeah, I know. So many of my posts. <laughs> Just, oh. delete, delete, delete. just delete. That's hilarious. Yeah. I didn't know that. Good, good to know. It's yeah. a new. All right, we'll feature. let everyone know. Yes. There you go. You can. Do right, you there think you go. it's weird for like your ex's parents to keep like pictures up of? The yes. thing is, I don't think that's old weird. heads would go out of their way to delete though, because hmm. for my case, that's a lot of years of deleting to hmm. go through. That's a lot of work. So honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm still on the pages. Mm. You talking about like Facebook? Yeah. What's up? I mean, yeah. I, I mean, that makes sense. That's though. a lot. Again, context. Work. That yeah. makes sense because that's a lot. Yeah. So it is what it is. You mess. It, you delete. <laughs> delete these. Get rid now. of these. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I probably would delete them. I, would de- <laughs> I mean, what? Well, I, I, I feel I like mean, I would be upset if she was like, oh, "That's just so many pictures," which I'm pretty sure you have used before. That's like too far down. There's too many pictures. I would be mm. upset about that. I'm like, okay, we'll take the time to do it. Well, yeah. this is in the context Wait. of the parents. The what? parents. The parents doing the it. The parents, No, the yes. parents' Facebook page. So my ex's mm, parents. Yeah. If I don't know if they would care if, enough. Exactly. If exactly. I'm still on the pages. But I, I see where you're going, though. Yeah. Like, okay, but, okay, if, just example, if she, she had photos of him like, everywhere, take the time. Yeah, take yeah, the time. Take the time. But the parents, yeah, no, that, that makes That's sense. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. My ex's like, parents it had nothing... hated me because they <laughs> took them down. They were like, <laughs> they were like 400 photos. <laughs> no, <laughs> Let me just take an hour. <laughs> I'll commit all week. I'm, I'm going to so take off work. <laughs> That's funny. That's PTO, another good one. time to delete ex's pictures. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Broke my son's heart. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Yeah, love it. Um, is it a red flag or a green flag if their phone is always on do not disturb? Like always. Do not disturb as in like the like the phone settings. So where like it just vibrates all the time? No, there's no 
you what if someone calls you you don't get a vibration if someone texts you you don't get a vibration it's just silent all it's the time it's just oh, it, yeah and then you always get the message this person is on do not disturb I feel like that's a very vague question because it is because she leaves her phone on Constantly. do not disturb all the time. Always. That's just because she gets constant notifications from my her clients room, and stuff. her clients, friend, everything. Yeah. But if someone didn't have that contact, sure. Which actually, no, now I don't have my phone on do not disturb because I muted my Instagram messages. So I go. don't get those. Mm. But I still have my phone on do not disturb a lot because I just like don't like being disturbed <laughs> yeah. period, my, period. my phone would go off a couple of times she's like can you turn your ringer off <laughs> yeah, like, like we're at, like i'm not even like who like okay sometimes i'm like who's texting you but sometimes i'm literally like i don't care can you turn your ringer off it's so loud like, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on mm. so how do you guys feel know. about that i think it's i think it's fine yeah i'll be honest i'm like i don't know like yeah if yours was quiet i mean i keep mine on vibrate all the time arguably maybe i would just put on do not disturb if i just no don't because i'm gonna feel best so i'm gonna i'm gonna feel okay. some type i mean of yeah I, my mind just always on vibrate i don't like hearing sounds beeping like ding ding i don't like that annoying. like i'll deal with the vibration but not that but i don't think it is i don't think it's a red flag like, i think it's i don't fine. think it's a red flag i, I don't think, think it's a green flag though. oh yay no, like, it would, you, it can't read definitely... my, you can't hear my messages <laughs> yeah it would annoy me but I, it wouldn't be like a make it or break yeah it's not a make it or break yeah. It, right? yeah yeah i think it's just like the intent behind it yeah that's yeah. what it would be about yeah um okay mm. he's texting you <laughs> mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Is it a green flag or a red flag if they don't apologize, but instead they bring you gifts? Wow, that's good. Interesting. So it's more like we just fought, and then instead of saying sorry, I brought, I'm gonna say, I'm I brought say you what I'm chocolates feeling. and a flower. I think that's a red flag in my opinion. Why? Well, okay. Honestly, wait, wait, wait okay. a second, wait a second. Because <laughs> uh, this is by, from my, my belief. Here's my belief. Well, he's very firm on this belief, actually. Because I told her, I think... Well, Maybe gifts is, I mean, gifts are still actually a good thing, but I, I really believe like, say I'm sorry. Like I told her, I want to like be taking accountability. I told her, I want to say, I want to be an, I love you. And I'm sorry, family, because like we, I, the way I grew up wasn't that. Mm. And, um, not to say like, clearly people in my family don't love each other, but it's one of those things like, it's just never said. But yeah. of course, you know, I want to be that because I've seen, I've been to my friend's houses where they always say to their dad or mom, love you, love you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why is that weird if I say that to my friend or mom? <laughs> you know, and again, it shouldn't be. Like, of course, we say I love you in like maybe a very dire situation or something, but I want to be able to leave the house and just say I love you and for them not to think, why'd he say that? No, it should just be like, like are you okay? I'm your why'd son. You that's why I said that or something. Or again, and then also apologizing. I think that's really important. Like, I'll say I'm sorry to her, like, if I felt like I did something wrong. And, I encourage her to do it, and she does it too. She like she's gotten very, very good at that too. So that's just my two cents. I guess maybe red again. Red flags maybe a little too harsh of it because if you're getting gifts, there's still I guess uh, it's an it's like a there's an act there. there of, there's an yeah a, a, apologetic act. Yeah. yeah. So that's so fine. But I, yeah, yeah, I think I think I'm sorry is heavier and clearer than getting gifts. I mean, I feel yeah. like giving gifts could be like a yeah. We fought, but can we be good now? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no accountability there. Yeah. I it's, feel like yeah. a gift is more just I feel like on. it's immature in a way. Yeah. Like, not that it's bad to give a gift, but it's immature because why can't you say you're sorry? Exactly. Yeah. Just say it. Yeah. Just like, say it. Like, something happened, I like the way, yeah. Sorry. I like the way you say it. It holds more weight yeah. than just buying, like, Chick-fil-A <laughs> for the person <laughs> that day. You yeah, know? I mean, yeah. Chick-fil-A is great. I'll door dash or something if I feel bad sometimes. Yes. But yeah. I'll still say I'm sorry to even follow that up. So at the end of the day, get a gift and say I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm, so, do both. I'm sorry. Actually, Would both you guys want to go get some food? Yeah. Or, you know. Booyah, love like it. That. It's love important it. to acknowledge it. Yeah. Because right. I feel like when you don't acknowledge it, then things can just fester. Yeah. yeah. It's the oh, band aid, not yeah. the cure. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Exactly. Ooh. Oh, oh, can you repeat that? Ooh, come on. It's the, it's the band aid, not the cure. Come on, somebody. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is a good podcast. Hang <laughs> on now. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Um, okay, we'll do this one. Is it a red flag or a green flag if they go to their parents before making every decision? Red before flag. That's weird. <laughs> that's weird. That's weird. Make your own decision. You're, gr you're grown up. I think that yeah, going to people who are yeah. older than you to get advice and counseling is good. Yes. But for everything. Yeah, everything. I bring no. it back to like, yeah. do you have a brain? Yeah. Can you like yeah, think nah, for yourself? Weird. Yeah, that all comes down to like you're you're at that at that point if you're even at the stage of you know talking about the future and stuff. Yes, you're are you're you a, you're enough? you're an adult 
make your own decisions. Yes. Now, of course, I like, I like what you said. Still find counsel when you can and all that stuff, but not for everything. Mm-hmm. That's over. That's overkill. So red flag. Yeah, that's like <laughs> that's not <toxic>. beige. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. no. Jazzy, what's yours? Oh mm-hmm. my gosh, I forgot what the question was. I was looking at the next one. <laughs> going to their parents. <laughs> oh, for going like, to parents for yeah. everything. No, I agree. I agree with everyone saying it's you're an adult. Make your own decisions. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, mm-hmm. yeah, getting counsel, getting advice, that's fine. But like yeah. being like. Hey, can I can I buy a house? <laughs> right. It's Should like, I? can I make a move without your okay? Yeah. 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 So no. Yeah. Cool. No, no, so no. this is Chat GPT's level three spicy. Mm-hmm. And these are these are actually getting really fun. <laughs> um, oh, now we're getting into so it. So <laughs> is it a beige oh no, is it a green flag or a red flag if they never call you by your actual name, just pet names? So it's always, hey babe, hey sweetie, not hey Sam, hey Ethan. He doesn't like it. I'm like, hey, Khalil. I feel like it's what just so me? strange what, what because she never calls me by my name unless she's talking about me. So I feel like it would be, it's just, it feels weird. I don't know. I feel like it's, it just depends on the people. Like, I feel like calling people pet names is very endearing. And it's like, oh, you love me. Like, just by like saying like, oh, hey, babe, instead of hey, Khalil. Yeah. I mean, we say babe to each other. We do. But I feel like when we say each other's names, I don't feel any type of way, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I do. Like, I feel do. weird. Like, like I mean, sometimes mean Samantha? <laughs> Who is she? legal name. <laughs> I'm your wife. <laughs> like, I feel like, I mean, I'm just trying to recall the times you're like, Ethan, I feel like if you're just trying to call me... Only to get your attention. Get my attention. Yeah, booyah. But That's also, exactly it. I'm weird yeah. with names because in Filipino culture, you're supposed to say a name before the person's name. So if it's a girl, you would refer to someone as like Ata JC. Mm. Or if it's a boy, it would be Kuya Ethan. So when mm. I was little, I couldn't just come up to someone older than me and be like, hey, Fred. It would be, hey, Kuya Fred. And when I was growing up, my parents would always be like, hey, that's Kuya. Like, you can't call them Fred. So ever since then, I just never wanted to worry about it. Mm. So I would just be like, hey. <laughs> so if you notice, I don't actually say people's names to them ever. You don't i don't i don't go up to you and i'm like hey sam i'm like hey girl hey beautiful hey Whoa, gorgeous. oh you know what's crazy i has got goosebumps because that's so true yeah i, didn't even think I don't about address that. people by their names actually one time i was talking to hannah and i i think she said Whoa. she said something that that i was like oh my gosh this is crazy and i really wanted to get the message across to her that what i think she said was crazy so i was like hannah and she was like you said my name <laughs> <laughs> and i was like yeah because this is serious that's funny so yeah so for me it's not a bad thing because I, that's just I just don't say people's names. Period. That's interesting. I know. Yeah, that's, that's actually yeah. an observation I didn't pick up on. Now, yeah. now I'm actually no. Yeah, you're right. I don't you're go. Correct. I don't say hey, Laura. And I, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's that deep. I mean, I don't know. You're like, it's not. Yeah. I like I mean, I'll sometimes I'll say Jace, JC, J. Yeah. Whatever. I'll be like, yeah, but it's never out of. I think if I'm mad at someone, I say their full name. Wow. Yeah, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. That's that. <laughs> okay. Is it a red flag or a green flag if their phone is always face down? No particular reason, but whenever you're together, the phone is always face down. No, I, no, I don't think that's deep. That's, I don't think that's deep. It's not that deep. Arguably, I think it's a green flag because you don't want people well, snooping on well, your stuff. If I put or myself it... into like a I, like I new, like something fresh, like that D&D question, I would have been like, why is your phone always on D&D? So if they mm. have their phone down all the time, but I feel like that just comes with like trust. Like, I really yeah. don't care what he's doing with his phone. <laughs> like, I'm more surprised that this is the third spiciest that's level. Not very yeah. spicy. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting oh, I, some spice. Uh, okay, no, let me. You know, tell it level 10. <laughs> Give me go. 10, level 10 spicy. Go all the way, chat. Give me, Get some action in here. And more, it's like, you, oh, okay. Give me more drama. <laughs> give me more drama. Make us fight. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yes. We're agreeing on everything. Oh, okay. Is it a neutral flag if. Um, your partner still wears things that uh, their ex gave them. Oh, mm. so like it could oh. be, it could be a T-shirt, it could be a necklace, it could huh. be, like I mean, it's technically yours. Um, but is it well, bad if they if you still wear it? Something we can un- we can undress. <laughs> Or what? Y'all ask for spicy. <laughs> There's the, the spice. We're giving There's the spice. Spicy. You want you want to start it off? You can go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, oh. What? What? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. I have my answer. Would you like me to go first? Yes. 
Go ahead. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the thing is, I know Ethan is a very secure person. Um, so he's not the type to get on me about little things. Um, yeah, so Ethan is a very secure person, <laughs> and I know that he's confident in himself, and he's very, very welcoming to like open conversations. Mm. So sometimes I will talk about my ex to him, and he won't take any offense to that. So. In my previous relationship, we were together for a few years. So obviously there were a lot of gifts given. Like shirts, um, a lot of it were just clothes that I really liked. And they still fit me. And I look really good in them. And I'll, I'll sometimes I'll wear them. I'll wear like the shirts that he gave me. And Ethan will be like, that's a nice shirt. And I'm like, yeah, guess who gave it to me? And he'll be like, shut up. And I'll be like, yeah, but doesn't it look nice? And he's like, yeah, no, you look, you do look really good in that. So for me, it wasn't like a sentiment. It's, it's not- one of them that like track thing. Yes. Yeah, the yeah. purple, the purple. I was like, wait, what clothes? <laughs> I'll be honest for a second. I was going down that line. And then when she mentioned, I'm like, okay, no, no, no. I do know what Actually, you're do you For a second, I was like, wait, what is she talking about? <laughs> No, but then the, I, no, the, I remember. I remember. The, now, it's the I remember. purple workout shirt. Yes, he I remember. The purple workout I remember now. Shirt. For a second, though, you were. I was like, actually, I don't know if you remember <laughs> this too. Do you see me wear a blue champion shirt sometimes? I think it's very so. rare that I wear it, but sometimes I think I've seen you wear That's that. also uh, ah, something from him. Okay, but yeah, it's not because the things they're shirts. They're not sentimental. But are we talking in the sense of gifts or like? Things that they your man's hoodie, like your ex's hoodies, Ooh. or like stuff like that. Oh, like what are we talking here? Stuff that I, was I mean, his. I mean, this prompt is just things that you've been given <laughs> from your ex. So that could be gifts, oh. or so that I guess could everything. be everything, or that could well, be. I mean, mm-hmm. personally, I got rid of everything that my ex gave you. Had gave me, okay. Yeah. Like he got me a, you know that that brand big blanket. They're like three hundred dollar blankets. They're huge. I got rid of that. Let's let's <laughs> uh, context. <laughs> Not originally. Mm. Had it for a long time. I did. While but... we were together still. But it's yeah. a nice blanket. But it's a nice so, blanket. It was so a very just... nice blanket. Context. But he yeah. did not like that. <laughs> so so to touch okay. on the big blanket. There, yeah. Right? This thing is freaking huge. <laughs> it's... And it's heavy. It's so, so it was so uh, nice. So I was touching it, right? Cooling, and then she had a face and I said, What? And then she told me and I was like, oh, okay. I felt a little weird at first, but then I thought about it. I was like, okay, what is she gonna do with a huge blanket would yeah. gonna throw it away yeah, yeah, yeah like it's freaking heavy so i was like i i don't care it's a huge blanket right yeah i don't care yeah what about jewelry so this one actually did say jewelry but i wanted to broaden it so jewelry yeah what's your take yeah. on jewelry if like, I wore... let's say your ex gave you a chain he doesn't do chains. That's the difference. Oh. I have a necklace that my ex gave me. Yeah. And um, yeah. that was like our special necklace because it was his birthstones on it. It was creepy. Mm. Yeah. It was, it was a cool thought. Uh, <laughs> How would you feel if I wore that around? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just to match Don't my outfit. Wear that. Don't really? wear that. Yeah. I would say that, like, there's lines. Yeah. There's lines. I'd be like the champion shirts. Okay. Whatever. And then the track thing. You look great in it. I do look so good in that. But if shirt. it's that, like, because I feel like jewelry, especially the way you just described that, yeah. that's like, Intimate. Okay, so what if, yeah. what if I like earrings or something like that? Mm. Something he just walked into Macy's and said, "Oh, she'd like that." Um, that's not the situation. I'm if just it's like I'm just asking. I'm if just it's asking. like that's another good. That's a good point though. Stuff. Yeah, because the way you described a necklace, that would be like if you were to pitch it to me, like or frame it up that way to me. I'd be like, um, but then the way if you were to be like, I'm tr- I'm trying to think now. Like if you were to be like, if he got me these, but there's a Walmart, just whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I'm just gonna say what my gut's feeling. Yeah. I wouldn't want that. Either. Even if it matches my outfit. Mm. Yeah. Bad. I don't know. Mm. I don't. I don't know because I say that, but part of me, if you really, if it was just a, on the whim, maybe it's whatever. I guess it just depends on if how it's I on the whim. It maybe it is yeah. whatever. But if it's a sentimental thing, uh, I'd be like, no, yeah, get rid of that. But the, I guess the or earrings from Walmart. Yeah. I'm kind of fifty fifty. It's I don't a know. tough. It's a tough. It's tough. I'm kind of fifty fifty. I don't know. How would you take it if Sam started wearing previous? Did this actually happen? Jewelry? By the way. <laughs> oh, oh, so, so my ex got me a chain. Yes, for okay, Christmas birthday or birthday. Oh, Christmas. Oh, okay, Meaning okay, okay, that it okay, was okay. like a, oh, here's your gift. I love you. Okay. Okay. It was just a chain. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't sentimental. It's not like she got a matching one or something like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. So originally, I thought it was okay. Um, um, but I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's 
it's weird, but I can't even. I couldn't really be mad at him because, like, I was. She had a closet full of his stuff, apparently, <laughs> that she was still wearing. But that's wearing. why I was asking, like, throw, like, throw it in there. Like, you're saying clothes, but like, would you wear your ex's hoodie? Yeah. All right. I think yeah. my because answer now men's is men's hoodies are so comfy. comfy. Yes. Oh my god! I, I personally would not appreciate you wearing your ex's clothes. Right, we've mm. gathered that. Right, just <laughs> just because that was his clothes, and when you when you go to get those clothes, mm. it reminds you of them. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Who'd you get it from originally? You know. Mm. Mm. I think my answer to it, I guess, is yeah, yeah. I think if there's sentimental, whatever it is, if there this was a spicy, if there was a sentimental, we you asked reason, for it. Yeah, if there was a sentimental reason, then n- stop it. But I guess if there wasn't. But that's the thing, like a hoodie, like it could not be sentimental. Could have been like, oh, well, I, that. Oh, okay, now, now this is this is a hard. See, one. it's, it's hard. It's it's like it's, because it depends honestly, on where it came from. Like, like the shirt thing is fine, whatever. But like, if it was like a hood, there's something about a hoodie that's it's like something about a hoodie. Hold on, because we all know what a hoodie. What if it's his <laughs> shirt? Exactly. We all what know what a like hoodie. His shirt, not just like a shirt that he gave her, but it's his shirt. Was it his shirt? Is it his sh- <gasps> was it his oh, shirt? It, oh. Dang. Ooh, ooh. So, spicy, because he spicy. bought you the track he thing. He bought me the track but thing. But was the shirt But the his? blue thing is I stole from him. Ooh. <gasps> See? Mm. Oh. Okay, but like, we could have gone think. light. We, kind of, we could have gone through life and you honestly didn't even remember that shirt existed. Well, uh, I think we should see that shirt again. <laughs> Bring it out. <laughs> Bring it out. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> actually, I, I <laughs> I'm wearing it right I now. I recently cleaned out my closet, so I actually don't remember if I got actually, rid of it or not. Uh, I would say, yeah. If, okay, uh, that's great. To yeah. add that on there, yeah, no, then it was a cute okay, shirt. So. Yeah, but no. she's like, damn it. <laughs> I like, I like no, I, I think that, that feels weird. It's just, that feels it's weird. It's just that it's so comfy. If it was something, okay, I like that. If it was something they wore, and now you're like wearing it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that would be weird. I think that's definitely weird. Yeah, I think the buying thing. There's some gray areas to maybe something to talk about. But if it's definitely something the ex wore, mm. that yeah, no, that's mm-hmm. okay. No, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. okay. I mean, I'm not mad. No, but I also but that is an interesting I also thing to... never wear that shirt either. Sure, it's, that it's too. My... Like I will say, if you, I saw you wearing it all the time, uh, that would be, be a longer talk. <laughs> the fact that I, I'll be honest, I can't even remember the shirt, so maybe that's a good sign. But if I always see you wearing that, I'd be like, we're going to talk after this. Why do you always wear that shirt? But it's fine. Okay, yeah. Um, okay. Okay, is it a green flag or a red flag if your partner frequently talks about how their ex was crazy and you're so much better? Like it's a, it's a constant thing. Like, oh, my ex is so crazy, and I I can't. I like I appreciate you because you're a lot better than what they were. I feel like it'd be annoying. <laughs> it's an annoying green flag. <laughs> like, <laughs> annoying green flag. <laughs> why are you always talking about them? Oh, uh, true. Yeah. It's like, yo, she was so crazy, bro. You're so. Why are you thinking about her? Well, or like, why are you thinking about him? Why are you thinking about him? Yeah, I think it would just be annoying. I think it's good to. Not necessarily like trauma bond with each other yeah. over your exes, mm. but like just to like confide in the other person and talk to them Stop about like your up. experiences. <laughs> yeah. But like, don't talk about it every single day. Don't talk about it once a week. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, it can be yeah, like yeah. a here and there type thing. If yeah, that makes 100%. sense. I don't think it's necessarily healthy. Yeah. Because why are you bringing old stuff to this new party? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, oh. Let's not do that. <laughs> Oh, I like this. <laughs> a lot of quotes on this podcast. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gonna make a carousel. <laughs> mm, okay, but give me... For the finale. Give me a okay, super dramatic, spicy <laughs> question for the finale. Oh, different one. It's about prenups. Dang. Okay. I mean, yeah, okay, no, this I is think a, that's good. This, that's, is a, this is a good ending. That's good. This is a good ending. Okay. I kind of want to go through more. <laughs> but no, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah, a good way. we have an hour of you're content. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Okay. This um, is fun, though. I know, this is yes. very fun. Let's do it after. We'll we can, just do we it can after. Do, we can do more. We can we'll do, do it more. after. With the headphones on? <laughs> 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 so no cameras rolling. You yeah. just want to <laughs> hear yourself. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, what's your take if your partner tells you that they love you, but they say that they'll never be ready for marriage? Are they being honest about their boundaries or keeping you around with a ne- without ever committing? So I love you, but I don't want to get married ever. Wow. Red flag. Red flag. (laughs) Can I say something? Okay, shoot. I think that open relationships are dumb. Okay. Oh, my God. I think they're really... I don't... I think they're dumb. Just be single. 
I think they're dumb. And go be with whoever. Open relationships always end up with someone getting from yeah. that I, I like. I mean, again, getting together. opinions are opinions. Someone could watch this and be like, "You guys are what's wrong with you?" But I really feel like date to marry. Yeah. Like I don't get yeah. like what is this open relationship like? What are you doing? Yeah. I don't know. Or open relate because open relationship is actually there's layers to it. But that's not answering the question. I don't want to go on a tangent. But that's a red flag. Like why why are you not trying to commit? But you're saying I love you and they're keeping you around. Like you're just being used yeah. at that point. Is that harsh? I'm sorry. But what about just... like the statement that people like to say, well, marriage is just a piece of paper. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Well, I'll be, I want to be with you forever. I just don't want to get married. Like oh why? Oh my gosh. But okay. Yeah, so yeah. if it's just a piece of paper, then it's not a big deal that we do it. Period. Ooh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm. Yeah, That's a sorry. great, yeah. yeah. That's a great way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess to play devil's advocate on this one, because I want to see how we can play the devil's advocate with this one um would you rather they just leave you in the dust oh it's, it's okay would they yeah annoying. like it's like hey i there because in their mind i love you but i don't want to marry anyone period would you rather just have them break up with you or would you appreciate that they communicate hey i love you but i don't want to get married break ever. up with me <laughs> i would have loved that they communicate me. that in the first place yeah Oh, yeah. you mean like into the relationship? Or yeah, like, in like, the beginning? like, would you rather know the reason why they broke up with you and like be like, okay, I love you, but I don't want to marry you? Like, would you appreciate that they're communicating their boundary to you, or would you just rather them just break up with you? Period. Oh, yeah, oh, communicate. communicate. Mm-hmm. Communication's always yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. I just communicate it. Communicate it. Should we end on another one? Um, I feel like that one didn't take us down a. That didn't. That didn't do it. You know what I mean? Like how we all started going like. Didn't really. That was deep. Pickle. That was deep Even, though, but we didn't yeah. get into like detail. <laughs> Until like, we can get into detail. Poor chat GBT. Not giving us what we want. Yes, do that one. <laughs> yes, that one. Wait, that's crazy. <laughs> that that's, that's an easy answer. Uh, it is an easy answer. Okay, it's an easy let's, let's fly through say it. What, let's can we just say what chat, G, chat GBT is desperate now? Say it. Well, Jazz is throwing um, a lot at him, you know? If you find out um, that <laughs> your partner has been secretly saving money in a breakup fund just in case things go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> are they smart and independent or are they just planning their escape and waiting for the right moment to leave? <laughs> Why do I feel like that's Yo. something you would do? <laughs> 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 that's no, so funny. No. That's so funny. That's crazy. Yo, who heard Chat GPT? <laughs> So specific. That's so funny. That's crazy. <laughs> that's Is that crazy. a red flag or a green flag? No, actually, no. Huh. Let's, let's answer the question. Are they being smart and independent or are they just planning for the demise of the relationship? Well, planning for the demise of the relationship, plan. right? It's, that's crazy. It's a security blanket, though. It's like, okay. If you, like, really dig into it, like. If you are at a point where you're saving up money to be financially good, wrong. then you shouldn't be in a position where you're going to be financially hurt with somebody mm. right if you don't trust that person enough then you shouldn't mm. be in that position yeah i can mind that I, I i feel like what why, why are you having the thought okay. why is this happening no this is the in same argument opinion. that i've heard about prenups too because a lot of people get butt hurt about prenups mm. the argument for prenups is like okay car insurance you pay money to you you pay money for something that's not guaranteed like you pay money towards a company just in case you get into a car accident. Mm -hmm. Why can't you do the same thing in relationships where it's like, I'm saving up money just in case things go wrong. Like you never know. You don't plan for things to go wrong, but what if something goes wrong? Yeah. I don't necessarily think that that's actually as crazy as I thought it was when we first said that question, because I think that it's, I think it's very right and very healthy. Like not for this situation specifically. A breakup fund. That's each, crazy. A breakup fund. Maybe don't call crazy. it that either. It's, but I don't know. But like, I don't know. I think it's, it would be so great. Like for Khalil and I, both of us, no matter what, to know like, okay, if I wasn't with Khalil, I would be financially okay. And for Khalil to know, oh, if I wasn't with Sam, I would be financially okay. I think like, that's I think what's that's called an individual healthy. savings account. <laughs> no. <laughs> Have your own bank account. <laughs> Not a break of fun, just an individual savings, savings account. account. I I can what? get yeah. I don't know. I feel like the intention this is I feel like the intention of saving money in case like there's like a separation. Yeah. 
I, I think there's something weird there. Well, there's definitely I think saving something. money. I think I think saving money, like you said, like as individuals, love that. That's team great. that. But it's the intention. Like, why are you saving the money because you 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 don't have faith? In this, yeah, you Not name as- the bank account. Yeah, break up, <laughs> break up money. Calling that's it a kinda, break up. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I, yeah, that's my stance on. It. I, I think, yeah, just have individual account. Like, but if you're making the account over over that intention, I think there's a conversation to have with the yeah, partner. Just some in, trust. My, in my opinion, why do you think I would do that? <laughs> I just thought that was. <laughs> Not, it's not, that's not a bad thing. It is Sam coded, but that's not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> See? Best friend agrees. Sam, I don't Whatever. think you would do it. I don't think you would do it, Sam. I don't... I, <laughs> no, the thing is, I don't I don't think she would, mm. but if she went up to me and secretly told me, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> you see? <laughs> like, I don't think you do. Like, maybe, yeah. Maybe their comments, there's no malice in the comments. Yeah. It's no, just like, no. it's Sam. <laughs> if, if you were to say I do, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that's funny. Well, there I'll, take that. I'll take so that. We can end on Sam has a breakup. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at my PNC That's account. That's so funny. That's so good. Wow. Thanks, Chad GPT. Yeah. That was great. No, that was good, good times. That was, yeah. really good. that was really good. And hey, I think funny. I think we got a good episode there. We do. <laughs> good times all around. Uh, this is fantastic. What a hey, what a fun episode. <laughs> What a good time. Ramsey Farms, Smoothie King. We didn't even talk about that. We went to Smoothie King Very today. Very good stuff. And then we came back here and did a podcast. This was sponsored by Smoothie King. Pay us. Give us your money. <laughs> Come on, Smoothie King. I got the Hulk. Uh, the, the chocolate and um, stuff. Protein. Yeah. There's stuff in it. But yeah, good good stuff all around. Um, Thanks to our guests for coming on. Khalil and Sam. The Pierces. And they're healthy and they're here. Woo. And they're healthy and they're here. Where no one was sick. <laughs> they made it on. Anything you guys want to... Th- any last words for the audience? Any last messages? Anything you want to promote? The, the, the camera is yours. Thanks for tuning in. Best couple on the podcast. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Love, hey. love. There you go. Mm. <laughs> I think I feel a sore throat coming on. No. <laughs> We're going to get sick after this one. After this one. After. <laughs> Oh, that's that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh. Love it, love it. <laughs> that was the last words. Oh, that's so funny. That was, I feel that I'm was, getting sick. She was just, <laughs> last words. Oh We're all getting sick now. We're all getting We're sick. All well, getting sick. hey, thanks again for watching. Remember, you can listen to this on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. The video is going to be on YouTube. We're going to try to make reels, put them on Instagram. We're going to try to make clips, put them on YouTube. We're going to we're gonna try to take this boat and take it to the island of victory because I'm here to make the unknown known Ooh. wow mm. Ooh, that's, that's good i've said that one before oh don't be too impressed <laughs> but yeah again if you have a passion or an art or a desire if you're a person of faith or if you're just you think you're gonna be fun on a podcast leave a comment no i need to find an- another way to get people to well hey leave, uh, no, leave a comment leave, a comment. leave, a, leave comment. a comment if you think you're gonna be cool yeah leave a comment down below if you want to be on this show yes yeah. And then if I don't, I'm going to dislike you, but I don't think you're going to be <laughs> I'll like you if I watch it. I'll, I'll like you if I watch you. If I look at your son, I don't want, I don't want you on the show. It's harsh out here. It's life. Yes. It's real. And I'm here to be real and raw and unfiltered like we were today. Yes, we were. How fun. All right. Well, yeah, everyone. Uh, anything you want to promote? Um, No, I don't have anything coming up. Yeah, you can just find up. me on Instagram at jazziel.ce. There you go. Again, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for Ethan Hunt Movie News. And of course, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Ethan Hunt Productions. Well, that was a great episode. And listen, thanks again for watching. And always remember, this has been Ethan Hahn plus... Jazzy. Sam. And Khalil. Now we do some fake talking like they do on the talk shows. <laughs> yeah. No, but what's so crazy? He's actually going to keep this in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? You did that too? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, 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 hey, I'm, hey, you, you saw my pumpkin stew? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Dude, freaking. What the pumpkin stew? I was like, I was like, mm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>